Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about what's new in the RC industry. Looking at the Serpent website, they just released a 1x scale RTR buggy. It's the Cobra SRX8. It comes with a powerful 21 Serpent Report post art engine. It comes with Dragon RC Electronics, also comes with a sway bar. This thing is ready to race. They also have an electronic version which runs on a brushless motor. I'm guessing that this is the replacement of the Cobra BE RTR. That one has batteries on each side and I was planning to buy that and it was out of stock for a while so I guess this is the reason why because they have the SRX8 e-buggy now. This rig looks pretty solid, has aluminum chassis, big bore shocks, 120 amp ESC with a 1900 kV motor. I'm actually pretty excited about this. It looks like the price is going to be around the $500 range. And there is the possibility that I may pick one up in the future. Over at Hobao, they have released a while back the VS2E. I've seen this already available in some other countries, but in the USA, they still haven't been on the market yet. Like the other Hobao cars, this will come in an ARR version where the body is clear and you will need your own electronics. If you're not keen on doing all that, they also offer a RTR version. Let's go to the website and take a look at it real quick. Looks like a pretty cool body with some lime greenish yellow design. It has an XT90 connected 150 amp ESC. Let's scroll back down to the features and see what else they have. 2000 kV brushless motor, oil fill shocks, big bore, full set of ball bearings, bevel gear type differentials, 3 millimeter thick CNC aluminum chassis. Overall, it looks like a really solid update to the original VSE. So hopefully it doesn't disappoint. All right, let's head over to Hobby Recreation Products and see what HPI has to offer. This was announced a while back and I saw a teaser by HPI a few months ago. And now it's confirmed that Hobby Recreation Products will be getting these in. These are on pre-order. They're the HPI Jump Shot SC Flux Toyo Tire Edition. It has a different body scheme. It will also come in a brush and brushless version. These are the twin plate vertigo chassis short course truck, which also comes as a monster truck or a stadium truck. I have the stadium truck version and if you didn't see the videos yet, make sure you click on the link below and they would direct you to the video that I did about that car. It's a lot of fun and they actually did a lot of good upgrades to it that made it so much better than the original version. Now that I'm done with all the new stuff that's coming into the pipeline, I'm going to talk about what's new coming to my channel. I've just recently purchased the Traxxas Fortac 3.0 with the Super Body and that is with the money that I got from my first YouTube check. It's not enough to cover the whole car, but it still helps a lot because this hobby is not cheap and I'm really excited to be getting this. So of course, I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody that followed this channel and all the support that make this possible. I couldn't have done it without you guys and this is really coming from my heart. I really, really appreciate it. Since it's almost Christmas, I want to get myself another nice RC car. I saw the MST has another platform called a TCR FF with a Honda Civic EK9 body. And after seeing that, I have to get it because I used to drive a Civic like that. Hatchback in black, I had it lowered with Anki wheels and also a Grady exhaust pipe. I had that in college and getting this RC car will bring back a lot of good memories. The MST is a front wheel drive and also have the motor in the front. The chassis itself is actually open to other layouts where you can put the motor in the middle or in the back and you can change it to rear wheel drive. It's a pretty cool chassis except for the fact that the shocks are only springs and I don't think you can put oils in there. I really can't wait for it to get here but there's no estimated date delivery. I just put a pre-order in so I'm not sure when it's going to come but I am willing to wait for it because this thing is going to be special. It's going to be an RTR version with a clear body with a tiny motor and a brush system. I'm not after huge performance from it. I just like the fact that the body reminds me of my old car. All right, guys, thank you for stopping in. I hope you guys have a good holiday if I don't make another video by then. And if you want to see me unbox the Traxxas Supra, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when that happens. All right, guys, thank you very much. Until next time, peace out and stay sexy.